Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Mechanical Mastery. So, I did it. I worked it out. Um, it took a little bit of time to actually work out how to do it. Um, because basically, as I said off camera, I wanted to make uh, these to increase our power, which of course needed all of this, which needed hardened glass, which needed gunpowder and blaze powder. Two of the things we collect from these effigies. I did in fact make some. Um, they actually double the amount of power. Um, so I only made six. So I think these two sets are doubled. But I think I would like to make the rest of them because double power is quite a bit. Um, and then we went on to make the plugs and do this. So now everything goes, basically all power comes in to here through. This is our lava one, this is our solar one for now. Comes into the energy cell and then goes out through this plug. This plug is plugged into various places. Here, here, uh, one over there, and then one over here. To keep everything nice and tidy, it's a little bit better. We could still try and avoid some of this wiring issue, but for now, it's much better. We have an easier grasp on our power. Currently, we're, we're pretty much above um, producing way more, but I haven't put the rest of the speed upgrades back into our steel production yet. And I'll explain why in a bit. But this was what I said I would try and figure out a little bit off camera, and we did figure it out. So, pulverizer, bones, very simple. Bones plus stone. Again, needed a little bit of a speed boost to be able to stay up to speed. Goes into an induction smelter, makes calcite. And I've tried to make sure I've got storage boxes everywhere to be able to, one, see what the production is, but two, have access to that production. Um, now, I could have pulled this back one, but the only reason I didn't is because that over there. Um, and I wanted it to be pretty much even. Um, so this produces calcite. Currently, we are not making any calcite at any decent rate. Um, this could maybe do with some speed upgrades um, to try and burn through this quicker. But it is all going straight across from here into here, where we're producing uh, dormant effigies. So I had to use laser I.O. for all of this because I needed to tell each of these how many to keep in. Otherwise, for example, um, we would have this whole inventory full of soul stones and nowhere to put calcite. Um, so now it basically goes to here and it gets produced. But to make the soul stones, we have lapis being pulverized. Uh, I've put the cactus upgrade to basically void these excess. Uh, diamond doing the same thing. And then this is a level three EMC link with glowstone and that all comes into here. And then that goes up here into this drawer, which I've given a diamond um, modifier because they don't stack. So 512 you see there, that means there's 512 in there. There's no, not 512 stacks. Then once it comes out of here, it goes up to here. So we've got eight stacks, almost nine stacks of effigies now. And that gets distributed to these four. So then this is pretty much how it's going to look for each of them. You'll have a magma crucible. That will make the liquid, which will pour onto the effigy, which will then go into the sawmill, which will then produce its output. So we need to do that another three times, and we need to do that for redstone, glowstone, and enderpearls. So the glowstone's very easy, because the glowstone will pretty much exactly be this. Um, the redstone's going to need a pulverizer, and the enderpearls is going to need a... Um, a sequential fabricator to basically do this recipe. Um, so probably what I'll end up doing is I'll actually have this being blaze, this being the glowstone one, and these outer two ones, they'll be the um, they'll be the other ones because they need a, a further processing step. So another block here, basically uh, something like that, and then that. And that will fit a bit nicer than how it was previously looking. And we can do that just to show that off. Um, but that is about it that we did in between. We just sort of organized that a little bit. I did tidy this up because now that we've sped this system up, 
this system was having a bit of an issue where it was dropping items. Again, I could have moved this closer. That's me being dumb. I could have definitely just popped that back one, but that's fine. Um, so now these all still function. They put a stack in at a time. This all comes over here. And the only thing we're still lacking on... What are we lacking on, then? Steel gears. Oh, Invar gears is our slow point now. We're not processing fast enough. Uh, we process the that fast enough, we just don't process this fast enough. So we might need to make some speed augments for that, um, but otherwise everything else is pretty much ticking on quite nicely now. Um, I don't think there's anything else new. So, we can now look at our quests. Oh, there was one other thing I did. One other thing, very just minor because I saw it. Um, I made the Igneous Instruder, just to make Deep Slate, because that was a, like, side quest, and I thought it led to something. But if I'd actually read the task, uh, no actual use, just nice for building. So, great, I did good. Um, so we have now automated the Blaze, uh, and we can automate the Blitz, I believe, because that's the Redstone one. So we just need to get the rest of these done now. Um, and then we'll be looking... Where's that water coming from? What's above me that's water? Oh, the um, spinning turbine things, yeah. Um, so we just need to get these done, realistically. Um, so I thought, because I'd learnt how to do it, I'd do that on camera. Because, you know, it's nice to do a little bit off, but at the same time, I could finish this whole series off camera if that was the case. Um, so, we are going to need three of each of these things. So that's 9 altogether, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so we need a couple more machine frames, which is going to need some tin gears. Can we just steal from over here? These are tin gears, right? Wait, uh, iron, aluminum, ah, or aluminium, I don't know. I never, I never say them correctly. Tin. Let's get the rest of our tin, I guess. Uh... Get our, our mould and let's uh, start to press those into gears. Uh, while that's going, we're also going to need glass and we're going to... Do we have more glass than that? Oh, we can have more glass. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to need glass... Oh, and we can do this. Yeah, we can. Um... Try and keep our inventory a little bit tidy. Um, we're going to need a little bit of cobble. And then, basically, once we've got the tin gears, I think, recipe, uh, a little bit of iron. Uh, so now we should be able to make the extra, what, nine? Oh, uh, recipe, sorry. There we go. 10, 11. So that will make our 11 machine frames. So then we need, what is that? Three times two, so six. We're not two of those. And I think we actually ran out of copper, which is a little annoying. Um, let's do that for now. Get that back to how it should be. Um, so we need copper for that one, so we can't do this one yet, but we're going to need some buckets as well. So we're going to need three buckets. So let's make those. Uh, cool, so that is the three buckets made. We've got the glass. We could probably make the... Uh, we need, what, a little bit more redstone, a little bit more gold, because we're going to do... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three... I'll make the 11 that we need. Perfect. Um, so the sawmill also needs copper gears. Okay. And it needs a saw blade, which needs more copper. Got it. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do for this one other than stone, which I think we probably have enough of. That's fine. Uh, the magma crucible needs invar gears. Which we've got six, which I think is enough, actually, for the three magma crucibles we need. We just need to make... Uh, ooh, we need a little bit more of that. 
That's aggravating, isn't it? Um, we need some of you, and we need to cook you down. Damn. Okay, well, this shouldn't affect our power super badly. Ooh, it is. Okay. It is. But we're blitzing through it, so... I would rather blitz through. Uh, that can actually probably do us for our three... One, two, three. Lovely. Um, furnace is still going. That's fine. Tin gear, one more. We need those to start making gears. Um, what were we doing? Magma crystals, right? Yes. So that's one, two. And then we need... Didn't we? Oh, we didn't. Uh, we need to make one more of you. Chuck you away. And that will be our magma crucibles done. So while everything's processing, we can just go and put these in place because we've got some time to kill, unfortunately. Um, so magma crucibles will always go here. No problem. Uh, bam. Sorted. Okay. So... Now we're just looking for fluid encapsulator and um, bada bing bada boom, we're looking good. Ooh, didn't realize I had that in there. Um, it's always nice to have a little treat. Uh, fluid encapsulator, three of those, lovely. Let's go down again, kill some time. Uh, these go in the next slot. So that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there and then actually while we're down here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ooh, let's just break you let's take you out um, because you should realistically be placed here and here and we should start doing that um, saying input on top output side that's good. Um, you should be input, output, right? Oh, with the extra input on top. And then on the down, should just input on white. There we go. Then we can basically swap that one with that one. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. We put this one here for now, because I realistically don't want this processing any further. Um, God damn, it made a lot of blaze rods. I didn't understand this at the time. Uh, well, let's let it process this last bit, I guess. Um, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so that will clear that out. My god, we can't even put those in there. Let's take these upstairs for a second and maybe put them in here. Just so they're out of our way. Um, because this one realistically should be the blaze one. Um, so that is fine. Uh, and now we should be able to take you out, take you and place you there. Um, and then this one is glowstone, right? So we should actually be able to take a glowstone, put you there. Oh, uh, input, output, auto pull, lovely. You should then be input, input, output, auto. On the down, you are an insert. So that's now making blizz, cool. So we now have the Blaze and the Blizz sorted. I'll take that one off our list. Um, let's eat a little bit of food. And now we're looking to do, so we've done the fluid encapsulators, we've done the magma crucibles. We need to do the sawmills. Uh, bap, bap. What are we looking for, that? Uh, sawmills will need more copper, right? Yeah, they will. Let's do that for a second, and beep beep. Bin you. Uh, right. 
So, sawmills. Three sawmills, lovely. We come back down. And this should be able to place here. Uh, here, and then here. So now we should be able to say input, output, auto. Uh, input, output, auto. This is going to start to carve up and make blitz moats, which can go there. These have all been um, stack, if I shift and stack downgraded, so they can only hold a single stack. Um, which with this buffer they'll hold in total what five stacks which I think is plenty um, so now all we need to do is we need to make a oh, pulverizer and a sequential fabricator and that will be all of our uh, oh no we'll need a sequential fabricator and a um, like oven of some sort because it'll need to be cooked iron goes down into sweat so ugh, sequential fabricator into here into here into here yeah so that will actually go there and then this is a pulverizer which will just go there cool that is fine with me let's go and see if we've got a smelter readily available first pyrolyzer no, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, in which case, we will need to take this out, and we need to first off make our pulverizer, which shouldn't be too bad. So, pulverizer should be nice and quick and easy, such as this. What does this sequential fabricator need? Tin and a crafting table. Tin, 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 tin. Oh, we're out of tin. Uh, tin. Put you in. Oh, that gets me every time. Put you in there real quick, tin. Uh, let's give you a bang, bang, bong, bing, bang, bong. Uh, let you just try and blitz through that a little bit. What we could do, oh, what we could do maybe just to speed ourselves up a little bit. We don't need the copper right now. Um, tin and a crafting table, sure thing. That should be quite simple. So that's the pulverizer and that. And we also need probably just like a furnace, like a redstone furnace would do. Uh, just two bricks. We are going to need one more, um, one more machine frame in that case, because uh, I didn't take into account the furnace, but that's fine. So let's go down and place those while the tin gets itself sorted. So it should be furnace here, and it will be input, output, and then pulverizer with a, um, we're going to need a cactus upgrade, but it should then be input, output, and let's go and get the cactus upgrade and one redstone actually. So we need to test that system now. Uh, cactus upgrade, and then one redstone ore. And that will be one more automated if this works correctly. So we should be able to do that. Then install you. So if I'm correct, ooh, will we? Sorry, what's happening? Are we not making enough power now? No, we are. Is it because this is struggling? Uh, bypass limit? No. Power surge? No. Chunk loading? No. Should just be getting power. Just a lot of things. Maybe we need to upgrade these cables as well. That might also not be the worst idea. Um, how do we do that again? Uh, uses? Oh, just with infused alloy. Do we have a load being made over here? We don't. We do now have some being made. Um, but that should uh, then come over here. Input, output. Then on the down, you should input. Except on top, input, output. 
Then once you have made some redstone, you'll go in here. And then you will be input, output. Once we get one. Very slow. This system will need to be sped up just a teeny bit. But I only need one to make sure it works. And then we can install all the augments and stuff and make sure that it's all... Bangled. So that's the basal, ba bla basals now? I don't know. Um, but that is that one now done. Um, so the only one we now need to do is we need the sequential fabricator to go here. Um, we need an iron ingot of some sort to be able to be produced. So we'll come over here and we'll grab one iron ore. Uh, we will then look here for some tin. Uh, we then should be able to make the sequential fabricator, right? Missing, oh, because we used it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we made everything exact, and then we ended up using one extra of everything. Uh, but that's fine. Sequential fabricator is now done. Um, and technically, we could do with a recipe one more of these. So that's one diamond... Four redstone, four glowstone, sure thing. One diamond. Oh, that's fine. Um, four redstone, four glowstone. Uh, this in the middle. Think like this, right? And then that. Lovely. Um, so then we want to come down. We then want to place you here. Uh, input, output, auto, auto. Have you start generating iron? Then we want to say you plus iron. Uh, no. Four iron equals an ender pearl. Then we can put you in here, and you should just permanently craft those. Then you should input on this side, we don't need input up here, output there, which will then do that, and that is pretty much now Blizz also done, once we get enough um, input basically, uh, we can probably kind of hard to speed this one up, we do that maybe, we can also speed that up I think, yeah, to match it. You generate that, which generates that, which then goes in here, and then outputs Blizz Cube, which we can then put straight into here. So that is technically all of the effigies now uh, automated. Uh, they need speeding up. But again, probably something I will do off camera is just make a load of Invar upgrades. Maybe even make the uh, reinforced ones now that we have access to that sort of stuff. Chuck it all in here, because we're going to need what? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, maybe 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Like 22 of those upgrades. It's quite a lot of just like waiting for alloys to be produced and signalum and all of that so I'll probably do that off camera but hopefully that will lead to us being pretty set in terms of um, production I mean this one's already backstuffed we know it's backstuffed we've got tons of them upstairs um, this one's probably the next closest to backstuffing which is good um, but the other two I think these two are the slowest but I think this was the nicest way of doing it. I could have done this way more compact. Like, I probably could have bought these both in by maybe one. I wouldn't have wanted them uneven. I could have brought it all up by one as well. Um, but I like the individual industries. Because we can now look at these and we can expand them if they're struggling. So, for example, calcite, we don't really make that much of. There's nothing to say that I couldn't just put another... Um, pulverizer and another um, redstone furnace back here, one laser node in the middle, power them both and then extract and do exactly the same process. 
Um, or even because we generate enough bones. Yeah, we are struggling on power a little bit though, aren't we? Um, that is one concern I have. Uh, this. Can you extract any more power? No, you can't. But we did try something. Let's remove these for a second. That should now be back to eight. I don't think that's changing anything, truly. Um, but we can put these overclockers in here, and then say you take as much power as you need every tick. Is that better? We're just struggling. Like, we're pulling power. Are we actually running out? What's happening here? I'm not running out. These are all charged. That's charged. That's just, it's just this one that's not getting like any power for some reason. Um, it could be that this cube can't output enough. Does this have a max output? Yeah, this cube might not be able to output enough. Um, how do we get a better cube? This one, for example. We could probably afford to do this, right? Um, yeah, let's have a look at doing that real quick. So we're going to need some of these, which we made earlier. We're going to need to make one more of these energy tablets. Uh, so recipe for that. We can make one more of you. That's no problem. Um, what else do we need? I think then just the osmium, so one, two, and then we come down here real quick. Take this, which is going to turn our entire base off, no problem. Uh, we then just quickly do that, and then we replace you, and we say, uh, now you can max output higher, yeah. So then we say, uh, uh, input on all sides output on the top. Yeah, that might have been it. I don't think we could output enough power. Yeah, that was it. Okay. We're just struggling to output currently, which is the same thing we might slowly get with these cables not being able to um, withdraw enough power. So what we can do is we can always now do this and upgrade them and just replace this line basically. Because um, that is at least a, a reasonable upgrade to make. Just to quickly replace this. Uh, let's just make sure we're not severing our power completely while doing this. Um, and that should hopefully, they hold more and I think they can push more out. Um, and then we can reclaim these cables, and it's just a slow upgrade process when you're upgrading these cables. Um, but eventually you just start using the higher tier ones. We'll start making the higher tier ones rather than the lower tier ones, is what I'm trying to say. Um, arguably I should also twist this round, but I just haven't got around to doing that. Uh, what are we looking at? Are we actually gaining power just ever so slightly? ever so slightly. Um, we also could consider swapping these ones out at some point, but again, probably off-camera little pieces that I do. There's no need for me to like run around just sw swapping cables out for no reason on camera. But we can definitely look at doing that. At least now we've solved our power problem, it just wasn't able to push out enough. Have we completed quests? Oh, we haven't actually held one of those, um, these ones over here. See if we can grab one before it gets chewed up. Uh, this might need to speed up for that to happen. Give me that, there we go. That is now ooh, quest complete. Which means now we can look at basically making the charges from each one of these. Um, which is the next bit of automation, which will basically come this way, slowly. Um, 
What other quests have I completed? Oh, just over here. Uh, we will take 16 more universal cables, I think. Um, we've almost finished this side, actually. The only thing it wants us to do is hold an energized smelter and then possibly make a heat generator or something. Um, we need to do that one at some point. We've done all of this. So it's just now to make the charges, basically. Which is going to need us to bolster up our um, gunpowder supply. Which is a little bit of a fiddly thing. Other than that, then we move on to this. And then we should be able to make this and then finally get a... Whew, okay. It's going to take a hot second, but we are getting there slowly. Where are we at currently? 17. This one's actually blitzing ahead a fair bit. This one little bit behind. I guess it's because it needs this to process as well. It's got it's the only one with one extra processing thing. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.